Hey Robert, back here. <clears throat> Been out in the shop this morning working on these lantern vices. Got me a bunch of blanks cut out. This is one I'm working on now. Almost got it finished. Got to cut my two sliders in there and uh, glue the leather on. This one will be finished. But um, anyway, man, it's it's way past coffee time here. Check this out. Got the old Sterno Inferno. We say we fire this thing up. Have a cup of coffee. Probably getting tired of seeing me making coffee in my shop, but you know what? If I'm not working, I'm in my shop. I'm still working. But uh, anyway, I bought one of these Sterno Infernos years ago. Bought it new. If I'm not mistaken, I give it away because it disappeared. I think I give it away. I'm, I think I remember giving it away at one of the spring meets. Never did use it. But man, I. I Kept thinking about that thing, thinking about that thing. I've been watching for them on eBay, but usually they're untouchable when you can find them. But I think I found this one on Etsy at a reasonable price. It had never been used. So, uh, hey, let's fire this thing up. All right, I've already got water in my cup. Good enough for a big cup. I got 20 ounces in there. Or stamped from the inside it's not 20 ounces it's uh, 16 ounces so uh, this thing's not going to be the fastest in the world and I don't have any of the new sterno but I do have one of my old antique cans I use in my antique burner it was about dried up so I poured a little alcohol denatured alcohol in there and stirred it up and mixed it in with the gel it would still burn, it just didn't burn real hot. I think with this uh, alcohol in there, it'll burn a little hotter. I'm guessing about a 10 minute boil time from a sterno in this thing, but we'll see. It's right at four in the morning. Kind of funny how I crave coffee at four in the morning every morning. No matter in the shop, it, it just hits me all at once. Gotta have coffee. So, we'll get back with you when we get a bowl. Okay, I dug my coffee out of my camper, my beans, but uh, since I already have this Folgers out here that pre ground for the percolator, let's go ahead and use it up. One of my little pour over filter bags. That perfect fit. Okay, my scroll saw is about shot. I'm not dragging it out. Not worth it. I'm just going to chisel out these uh, sliders. So far chiseling on that and pay no attention. Man, this water's already boiling. Uh, less than about 10 minutes or less. Don't know what time it started. I lost track. 
Hey, liking it. It says on here, remove the lid before pouring. I thought the little holes there in you know, the lid were made for pouring, but it says not to, so I guess it can't handle the hot water. So we'll not try it. Man, it's going to be some good Folgers. I guess this is what you call, instead of an automatic drip, this is a manual drip. When that coffee foams like it, you know it's good. Here, got a little sawdust in the bottom of my cup. Can't imagine how that happened out here in this wood shop. Oh well, it won't kill me. I breathe a lot of it. Might as well drink a little bit of it. I suppose this filter will catch it too. It can't go through them coffee beans in the filter. I thought that cup would be bigger than that, but that's um, it held 16 ounces. I guess where it's double insulated, it looks so much bigger than a 16 ounce. Man, that is good. It's going to hit the spot. Not real cold out, but it's damp out. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, but it's it's a little bit cool. But hey, man, it's gonna hit spot. This, oh yeah. Okay, this cup's got to go to somebody. Got a newer subscriber been commenting on the channel lately. Uh, buddy, hope I'm not uh, butchering your name, Jason Wildebrandt. Hey, buddy, it's for you. Okay, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless. I gotta get back to work on this vice. Yeah, that's almost looking professional.